All right, so in this factory taught view side edition quick tips, what we're going to do is, is talk about how to read VBA code. Now VBA code is already there. Say you're a technician and you're coming behind somebody, you're trying to understand what the VBA code is. Um, the I'm actually setting up my uh, new build, which is going to be Factory Talk uh, Studio version 13. So with that said, there's a uh, some new cool fe features as far as that goes with v VBA code showing you how to do it. So I figured what better time now than to teach you how to understand what is already written, right? So um, when it comes to here, you can click this button to create a folder. You can click this button to update the tags, right? So click this button to create and set the tags in the, in the folder called VBA. So right here, you can create tags, right? And this button right here. So uh, all this being said, it's just showing buttons, right? Now we can modify those tags and show that right here. And then we can delete the folder as well. So if we delete the folder and then we go to modify tags, you see everything changes. It changes right here. So if we go to create new folder, create tags, duplicate, modify, you can see right there. So you see it works. So let's see exactly what's behind this, this code because these just look like natural buttons, right? All right. So when it comes down to it, let's understand that over here in the settings, you're going to have your product, your object explore. All right, so in your object explorer, you have your, your property panel where you can come over here and look at your properties. Everything needs to be, if you're using VBA code, that needs to be exposed to VBA. Okay, so when you're understanding how VBA is working, because if I were to open up this button, so because you might be asking yourself, why am I explaining this part? Okay, so if I were to open up that button and I go to actions, and normally you would see some kind of tag. You would see some kind of command or you would see some kind of tag that I'm writing to for the PLC or something of that nature. So with that said, though, you don't see anything. So you're kind of wondering to yourself, well, what does that do? Um, well, if if you happen to go over to your properties panel and it shows controlled by VBA or exposed to VBA is VBA controlled, which you have selections down here where you can detect that, right? So if it's if it that is the case, then it's VBA driven. The same thing right with all the rest of these buttons right here. You can see that that is the way they are, right? There is no secret thing happening here. This is all VBA code. So with that said, um, well, it's, oh, what better time to read what is happening? So if you want to read, if you want to open up to the part of the VBA code that you specifically are curious about and you want to read, then click on the actual section right so in this case I clicked on the create folder button I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna open up the VBA code and then I'm gonna come down here to my VBA code and it's gonna open up to that section alright so it says button create folder released and what it's gonna do is it's going to it, again it's gonna the, when it says dim it's creating a, an actual um, you know the actual element that it needs that you're basically defining what needs the the use case inside of VBA code, right? So as folder, right? So we're we're saying O folder is at is as folder, okay? So we're gonna set O folder to the tag database create folder, okay? So, and then we're gonna name it VBA. Now this rest of this code is just understanding the error code. Um, it's basically to put there for factory talk diagnostics so that you can diagnose any kind of errors with your, your VBA code. So if we're looking at that very first button, we can look at this right here, button create released. Now, if you're wanting to know, well, how do you know what that button name is? You can hi open up right here and go to common and you can say button created. You can see that right there. That's the actual name of that element that you're going to be using inside of your VBA code. So when it comes down to it, when I when I say button created right here, this is what I'm going to be referring to inside of this. This is button recreated, and then it's underscore released. Okay. So and then it's defining its its variables that it needs with the the demit dim, right? And then all we're doing is saying set folder set the dim that you already made equals to tag, right? So the tag database, create folder, name the folder VBA, okay? So 
with that said, we could have just said right here as as folder, right? You could have could have changed it up a little bit, but let's go ahead and look at another one, right? All right, so with this case, um, that was creating a folder. Okay, now uh, for this case right here, we're gonna come in here. Let's uh, see what it's like to modify tags. All right, so let's go to VBA code and uh, again, click on it, open it up. That's the quickest way to get to the point where you want to be at. If you don't know, this is because this is actually gonna tell you it's button eight. If I were right here, if I were to open this up, go to properties and go to common, it would say button eight, right? All right, so that's the easiest way for me to actually define where I'm at, right? Define what, what should be what. Uh, so in this case, what they're doing is they're saying, okay, when you release button eight, what they're gonna do is they're gonna create a dim and they're gonna say user tag as tag and they're gonna, they're gonna set the user tag to the tag database inside of the folder VBA and then it's gonna start as tag, right? So then it's gonna set all the tag values. So again, we're talking about reading VBA code, not writing VBA code, where we're talking about how to read it. Uh, so we're saying that the user tag that we created up here, right? We're saying dot minimum. And if you don't know when it comes down to it, if you were to edit this and you were to say something like uh, user, and then I put dot, would come up and and our user tag i'm sorry user tag and then i put dot it will come up with many different things that i can define right so in this case it's showing you got minimum maximum so that's how you use the vba code uh, again we're talking about how to read it so when it comes to reading vba code it's completely different because you need to understand how to read it but sometimes you do need to edit it right all right so with that said we'll close the vba code again Let's go to delete folder, um, or you can go to duplicate folder. Duplicate folder um, in our case is called common, and it's called button duplicate, duplicate or underscore duplicate folder. All right, so with that said, we wanna be looking for that. Now we could just open up, we can right click and open up VBA code and go right here, and this is gonna take us to a general spot. All right, so in this case, uh, Let's close VBA code one more time and let's go right here and open this up, right? And this should take us to the exact spot. Now, it took us to the exact spot because I already had it pre-clicked, but if I go right here and I come up, come over here and right click VBA code, you can see it's gonna take me to a different location. So be careful with that. Make sure you're hovering over or you're not clicked on anything. If you're not clicked on anything, it's gonna open up the VBA code from a, just a general area and then you're gonna have to scroll through and find everything that you're looking for. So the simplest and easiest task that I've seen to troubleshoot VBA code or to find and understand what's being written is to simply click on it, okay? So click on the actual uh, element itself, right? Which again, we're exposed to VBA code and then we're gonna uh, right click and go to VBA code. And then that's when I know right here this is my button folder. This, when I release it, what I want it to ha want to happen is I want to take the tag da uh, tag database right here, dot and duplicate folder. So I want the command I want to do it. in this case if I say tag tag db, I can cre I can do create folder, create tag, delete folder, delete tag you can see all of this stuff is in here, right? So if we're talking about understanding VBA code, it's different than writing VBA code. So in this case, I wanna duplicate folder VBA and then create a folder called VBA2, right? So in the number right here, uh, the tag number and the caption, right? So that that's exactly what's being set. So you need to understand if you're trying to, again, read VBA code, now that's the key to it. Um, the things that just helped me throughout time, helped me, uh, you know, throughout the past and stuff of that nature. When you come down to it, where's this stuff going? Um, where's it actually being, you know, derived to? Uh, let's actually go to the HMI application, and you should actually refresh this, and you should see right here VBA. Uh, we'll see right here. Let's go to VBA. 
um, let's make sure we're in the right application to begin with. So a application right here, and this is VBA. So let's go right here and create folder. Um, X6, we go in here, let's create folder. Let's create tags. Let's duplicate and let's modify. All right, let's create tags and then modify. Okay, and then let's see if we have something inside of that. So let's go in here see if anything's in there maybe going to a different location um, when it comes down to it understanding that VBA code where it should be right it should be writing to that exact uh, file location so again the tag database that's actually what it's actually doing is actually going to the tag database so this is actually interesting because instead of going to the file location of the HMI, what it's doing is going to the tag database, which is up here, and we should see the inside of our tags up right here. We now have a folder called uh, VBA and VBA2. Now, counter to that, if you wanted to see that again, let's delete the folder. Okay, so this is going to delete the folder. All right, so now if we go back in here, and we go back into our tag database, we should have deleted that folder called VBA2. All right, I'm VBA itself, right? So if you come over here, you see it's deleted that. So this is a very powerful tool and a very easy way to understand the way, uh, you know, VBA is done. You know, so as far as I go, let's create a folder. Let's create some tags. All right, so let's modify those tags. And then let's go back in our system Let's close out and refresh our, our HMI tags in our tag database. All right, and then we should have a, a tag in there or a folder called VBA. And we open up VBA and we have all of our tags. Then all our, our values should be different, right? So we should be setting all of our values to whatever we want to change. So in our VBA code right here, if we wanted to change those values to something different uh, in this right here, we could change that. So if we went to the modify tag button or properties, if we went to that screen, let's go back in here and let's go to that screen. Let's open up VBA for mod modify right here. And let's see what that says right here. So now we can come in here and change the minimum value, maximum value, the PA. So we could say what the units are. Uh, we can come in here. So we're effectively changing the way that it is. So let me just change this from the tag value from 80 to 95. Okay. And then I'm going to save that. I'm going to save the VBA code. I'm going to change it. All right. So real, before we do anything, I want you to see that the tag value uh, right now, let's see for that one, the tag value, uh, let's see where we were, where we, let's see, this is the stage. This is the tags and this is four five six seven eight make sure we're doing everything correctly and having the tank pressure so the tank pressure is right there uh, let's come over here and modify that so the the tag value uh let's actually get off of the screen and come back to the screen and then that way we can actually tell the way it's working so we're going to go over here to security and we're going to go back over here and then we're going to press modify tags again and then the tag value should go to 95. So you see the way that works, right? So we're actually, you know, creating that. So if we were to create that one more time and create uh, another VBA2, we create the folder and then we modify tags and then we come over here to our screen and then we go back in here and refresh our tag database. We should have another folder called VBA2 and the same tags that are in VBA1 or in VBA2. So that's a, a very interesting way to do things. It's a very interesting way to read. Uh, it's a very powerful way to read. So again, when it comes down to it, this was reading the VBA code and how things should be done, right? So I'm trying to pass on as much knowledge as I can about reading VBA code because writing VBA code can be completely different based upon your application, but reading it again is something that all technicians should know when they're working on, or, or engineers for that matter, when they're working on a uh, HMI application because, or again, reading VBA code and understanding the best practices and some of the tips that I've learned in the past 
just is that much more powerful, right? And it, it just it, it t spreads that much more uh, helpful, you know, I guess me training you, uh, you know, at the same time, you learn something, you pass that information on to somebody else and they can, uh, the chain continues and we all just spread and the whole atmosphere grows, right? So as far as uh, automation and in, in general, we all grow together, right? And that's the purpose behind me putting content out here like this is, is to really help you understand. So with all that being said, thank you for watching the video and we'll see you guys on the next one.